What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who. Today, I'm bringing you a brand new video for Brute Force Save Data on how to take a copy protect to save off your PlayStation 3. Before we start the tutorial, there's a couple of things that you need to know. In order to take a copy protect to save off your PlayStation 3, you need to have a jailbroken console. If you do not have a jailbroken console, then you cannot take the save off your PlayStation 3. Once everything is completed with the jailbreak, you need to install an application called Multiman. If you don't know what Multiman looks like, it looks like this. And as you guys can see, you can get any version of Multiman. It doesn't matter. It will do the same thing. So in order to get this save off the PlayStation 3, I'll use this as an example. You need to know the date of when the save was created. If you have a lot of saves under your profile, and you don't know the date, and you don't know the region, you're going to have to go one by one, each save, until you find the save. So, to make your life easier, always know the date of when the save was created. Therefore, it's easier for you to locate the save. I know this was created on 3-23-2020, so I'm good to go to find the save. So, I'm going to start up Multiman and go get my save. Start it up. And like I said, this is only going to take a couple of seconds to do, but a lot of people just don't know how to do it or just don't have a jailbroken console. So if your multi-man does not start up like this and it starts up in a different X and B screen like this, there's about five of them or like this, just keep pressing L1 until you get to the regular X and B screen that looks like this, PlayStation 3 similar, Go to File Manager, and then it'll go back to this. So once you're here, you want to go to the PS3 Root. I'm going to move this over real quick so you guys can get a better view. This is the root of your PlayStation 3 hard drive, but you're not actually in the hard drive of the PlayStation 3. The actual part you want to go to is Dev HDDO. And once you go in there, you will be inside the directory of the PlayStation 3 hard drive. What you want to do from your HDDO is get the save. I'm going to do that right now. Go to home. And when you come to here, you see three folders here. Now, let me explain this to you. The reason why you see three folders here, this represents my profile on the X and B screen. So, Normally, you see Craig, Silent Assassin here inside of the hard drive of the PlayStation 3. You see folders with a number. I know already that 10 is my profile or Craig's. 31 and 34 could be Silent Assassin or the other profile that I have on my account. Can you remember the name? But I want to go inside of profile number 10, which is Craig's. Click on it, go to save data, and this is where all the saves are stored. Now, I want to go to date, click on it, and as you guys can see, it sorted out the saves by the day, the month, the year. Now, I want to go down, so I see 23, I think it was March, yep, right here, 2020. and I do have a few saves that I would have to go through to figure out which one is the copy protected save, but I already know which one is the copy protected save, which is the one I just highlighted right here. I can click on it. I can go into PNG, and there you go. That's how I know this is this save, and I want this one. So I can go back, just click on top where the folder is, and I'm going to, once again, scroll down till I get to that save, which is right here, right? I'm going to press circle on the controller, and it says copy. I'm going to copy this, and I'm good. Now, at this stage, you can press X on there, close this up, go back to the root of your PlayStation 3. Now, you want to go to dev. USB 001, which is my USB flash drive, go inside my PS3 folder, 
my save data folder and I want to paste this save inside of here, the copy protected save. So highlight the top, press circle again, and you see it gives you the option to paste. Now I want to paste that save in this folder, which is on my USB flash drive. See, and it pops up with a message that looks like this. Yes, I want to do this. Look at this, it's copying. It's only going to take a couple of seconds, and voila, my copy protected save, which is here, as you guys can see, I click on it one more time, is now on my USB flash drive. I could pull out the flash drive, put it on my actual computer, and use brute force save data to remove the copy protection on the save so that I can make it a universal save or reassign it to Craig's profile or a different profile without having the lock on the save. And that's pretty much it, you're done. At this stage of the game, I can come back here to this little icon, click on it, and quit. It's asking me, do you wanna quit? Yes, I wanna quit. And that's it, we're done with getting the save off the PlayStation 3, it's just that simple. So, just to recap, if you need to get a copy protected save off your PlayStation 3, you need to have a jailbroken console and have multi-man. Now, if I go over here real quick and I'll show this to you, I'll go to my USB. There you go. You see the save is now on my USB and it's still copy protected. But in the next video, I'll show you guys how to remove the lock, just make it a generic save and everything should be good, everything should be great. If this video was helpful for you guys, please leave a like. But as always, I thank you guys for supporting my channel, watching my video. Get up with you guys later. Peace.